So it means a lot, really. <laughs> nine in the morning till nine in the evening, I'm totally in the process of doing something, <laughs> but my team doesn't allow me to make a cat game yet, but <laughs> I will do that. Hi, I'm Lida Kasoldova, I'm CCO at Gamzik Slots, and I'm here for GBC time for interview. Oh, it means a lot. <laughs> uh, it means that I have to be aware of all the processes going on in the company and I have to know what exactly, uh, what strategies we have, what shall we do in the next two, five, ten years. I shall prepare everything in the company. So it means a lot, really. <laughs> Uh, my daily routine uh, consists of uh, different things. Uh, for example, uh, I need to check all of my teams, like sales and accounts, what are they doing, checking their plans, uh, looking for different uh, things, how to promote our uh, slots, where are we located. Uh, I mean, our teams are located now in Kiev, in Poland, in Spain. So I have to check uh, everyone and ask them if they're on their places, are there any troubles or something. Also, we daily we have some meetings with colleagues from sea level and from different teams to discuss the potential of product, to present our ideas, new features, new slots. So uh, starting from the nine in the morning till nine in the evening, I'm totally in the process of doing something, <laughs> but not actually something common. Each day I have new, uh, advantages, new things to do. Challenges. Nice question, by the way, because challenges, they are coming coming up each day. Uh, starting from the very beginning, where we decided to create our company, uh, it was a week before quarantine strike. So I can say it's a big challenge. Then we have to uh, admit that we did a lot to promote our games sitting at home because we haven't had a chance to travel to meet someone and as no one knew about our product it was different uh, from just sales as we know from going to exhibitions from meetings and so on so the first year was very hard for us it was a great challenge and now unfortunately we had to leave ukraine due to war so yes it's the next challenge but we help our country we support a lot we have donated a lot of money we have uh, opened new vacancies and uh, we uh, asked to join our team about 15 or even 20 uh, 20 people now so it's also a big challenge because we grew a lot and uh, daily challenges are just coming up and i hope the next challenges will be like which uh, country to choose to make a corporate event or uh, <laughs> which casino we can choose from all the casino that are going to our side not we are going to their side so i hope the challenges will be more light oh uh, my idea of client is the client with one thing and the contract <laughs> one call but it happens not so often um, I regret that, but uh, it's, a, it's a working process. Uh, our client is a young casino or a casino with a big name established long ago, it doesn't matter. We are facing the problem that uh, it doesn't matter which casino or uh, which platform or which aggregator. Uh, it depends only on the casino manager. Actually, if uh, our partner has a nice team, and actually all of our clients have a nice team, so there is a big chance to get more clients every day. So that's why I don't see any difference in um, segmenting the clients. Uh, the clients are just operators, we love them all and uh, we have uh, a nice team of account managers who uh, support our friends and clients in this case and that's how we grow. Mm, nice team. 
first of all, you have to understand that your team is the face of the company because when you're uh, when you have a daily routine with your clients, uh, your team has to be very strong and very positive. But sometimes we get very strange uh, <laughs> uh, questions from uh, players and they are redirected by our partners to us and we have to find a nice and smooth uh, answer for them and uh, that's why i think that obviously a team makes everything the company people just people. <laughs> from player we didn't have uh, such extra questions like where is where my money and the, the, the common question from players uh and they are always asking about uh, the wins they didn't receive but the, when we check these winnings uh, we understand that they tried to cheat us by telling us uh, something uh, very strange uh, actually we had a very strange thing that happened on events we were in uh, at Amsterdam at IGB uh, and uh, we had a stand with uh, small dogs because one of our games, which Granny has a character, Little Chihuahua, and we had three uh, dogs on batteries, like toys, and someone stole them on the expo. <laughs> that was the strangest thing I can ever imagine can happen in our business. Everyone, I can say that uh, someone has higher value or a lower value. Uh, when we ask people to join our team, we make a hard decision because a lot of people come uh, to our HR department asking uh, if we have some spare slots <laughs> for uh, vacancies. But uh, every time I try to choose someone or my colleagues do that, we understand that we would like that these people to stay longer with us to make the biggest effort we can do. So now we have the strongest team I can ever imagine and we're searching for uh, some new team, uh, team members. So constantly growing and searching for the best. Well, it depends on the certification process, unfortunately. It's not that quick. Uh, we try to work with the Curacao market because uh, it's easy for providers to enter it. Now we are uh, in the process of obtaining MGA license, but as all know, everyone knows that it is very hard and takes a lot of time. So I'm pretty sure we can make it in the beginning of next year. And uh, we have some certifications also for Romania and Italy, and it took um, more than eight months to obtain the license because sometimes uh, uh, the legal entity from the side of the country we are trying to enter, they asking for some more information for any details, so it takes quite long. But uh, nevertheless, we are always in search of that market that are easier to uh, enter. And now we are in Latin America, in Africa, uh, we found partners who made the certification for us and uh, we provided some exclusive games for them or some extra uh, discounts or something like this just as a, uh, as a good uh, answer for their offer. Faster than in Europe, <laughs> totally faster, but yeah. there is... Yes, there is some. Uh, there are some countries that uh, do not require a license from operator, from provider, only from operator. So it's easier. For some countries, they have a very interesting certification license process when operator can make a shelter, sheltering option for the provider. So we are asking our partners to provide that option, and it also works. It makes uh, entering the market faster in a couple of times. It's a commercial course, I can tell you, but uh, it, it depends on the game mechanic, on the um, mechanics we use, on the, I don't know, maybe some animation process and uh, different things. But I can say that it takes months to create. I can tell you the post because because I can't. <laughs> yeah, but uh, in, in if, uh, saying, if we are saying about the time, it takes about one month. And uh, that's the price of months of work. 
of all the employees engaged in this process. I think the hardest was the war because we had to make a, a deal with a new office on 24th of February. Yes, uh, we found a very nice office for all our team and we have to change that office for a small house in Carpathian Mountains because 25th, it was the day when we asked all our colleagues who, 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 who had an opportunity to live here or any other cities, mostly in Kiev, uh, and join us uh, to make our employees um, move to a to safe place. So it was the hardest part because we never knew what will happen next, but actually it took only two or three days for our team to start work again. We took uh, our laptops, we shared them, then we uh, found out how to buy these laptops in the village we live in. Uh, it was interesting, it was uh, hard, the hardest thing, but it was very useful for us because after this uh, two months in Carpathians, our team became uh, like a family because now we have a lot of friends among our colleagues. And that's very useful, but unfortunately, the way it happened was, and it is very bad. And all the hard business cases, they appear to be uh, deals. Because when we started, no one took us seriously, like, hey, you know, uh, another young provider, another provider with only five teams. Um, big companies didn't take us uh, at serious level, like, maybe they will live uh, not for a long time, guaranteeing and so on. But now the hardest case for me is to um, tell people how hard was our way at the beginning and it took only two years for us to be at the point that we are here now. So uh, actually I can say that something bad or something uh, very harsh happened to Gamzix. No, the way we grew for these two years, it was hard. Now everything is okay, we'll continue growing. So I hope this was the last hardest thing in Gamzix. Uh, uh, life. We took the best team and the best team consists of all our employees like tech team, marketing team, sales team, account team. Every one of our employees, they understood how hard it is for a beginner, for a startup to make effort on the market and um, we all took it serious. We uh, spent a lot of time to create very interesting marketing strategies. And we spent a lot of time to uh, make them go live, like uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, making this expos and so on. And now we were on Cyprus and uh, there was Sigma event, uh, like a pool party. We just joined our colleagues at this event and uh, one of the colleagues from uh, gambling, they, he came up to us and we were three of us, our CEO, me and our CMO, Marina. and. He, he came up to us and said, hey, this is the goddess of marketing. And you know, this was the best I ever heard about uh, our team. I was so glad that everyone notices that we are strong at marketing and this, this makes me happy. So this is the answer. Yeah, of course, we have a very interesting case. Uh, I told you it's the dog uh, from Rich Granny Slot, the character of Small Chihuahua. Uh, actually, I'm a cat person, but uh, uh, my team doesn't allow me to make a cat game yet, but <laughs> I will do that. But anyway, uh, we have this dog character, the small dog. I don't know, I'm not so young, but now not so old. But in my childhood, there was uh, a small dog on batteries and barked and just walked uh, through. I, and you know this dog, yeah? And uh, one of the expos, uh, we were thinking what to take on the exhibition stand because it was very small and we couldn't make a lot and I said hey maybe we should take these small dogs it will attract they are moving they are making some noises and so on so we decided to take three of them to Amsterdam and as I told you they were stolen and now we're taking these dogs everywhere we bought all the dogs we can find in Ukraine <laughs> so we bought them all 
And now we're taking them uh, to the other ones to expos and everyone comes up to our stand asking if they can take the dog. So we decided to put a big toy machine. You know this pick up thing when you're using a joystick to pick up a dog. So next expo in November, uh, everyone can uh, actually have this dog, but uh, they have to try it. So this was the very interesting strategy because big companies with their affiliates, with their uh, I don't know, production, video production, they came up to our stand just saying, hey, you have the best idea. Actually, the cost of this dog is not that high, but the happiness and the uh, attraction uh, of people, it grew up a lot. So this is a very um, funny, but actually very a nice case in marketing. Mm, yes, as I'm a girl from the beginning, from very beginning I was born a girl, I always struggled. To, I never thought when I was a little girl that it would be hard for a woman, for a girl, to be uh, um, a part of society as men are. When I started my work, I was 18 years old. I started as a photographer. Everyone uh, in student years would like to have a photography or something like that. Uh, and I understood that guys who take photos, they get more money than girls. I, I tried to figure out why, just because. And then I started to search for a serious job. I started working hard and so on. But I understood always that men are just looking at women like, hey, you are just a woman. I don't take you serious. And then I started to just understand that we're equal and don't, the woman doesn't have to be afraid of saying what she thinks. Now uh, I am sure that I have a position of CCO and uh, that is not because I just... Mm, I was lucky. I was. Uh, I had a very hard way uh, to get this job, to be at a place where I am. And I have to grow uh, a lot, had to grow a lot, because uh, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of uh, uh, years and years of experience. Now I can say to younger girls, don't be afraid. Just uh, be yourself, uh, create ideas, express yourself, and always uh, have a backup uh, of uh, your ideas somewhere on Google Discourse, <laughs> because uh, uh, when you create something, someone can steal it. Steal it. And uh, yes, and you always have to have a backup of your ideas. You have to make presentations. You have to, to put everywhere your name, your photo, and people will remember you. And I'm so happy that society now, um, it's more equal. And girls are not just girls with the pink ribbons or something. Uh, it's a human being. And I'm very happy to live in this time when we can vote, <laughs> we can go freely in the street, uh, and we can choose life uh, we want. Don't be afraid. That's that's all I can say.